YouTube, go subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and watch my other videos. My daughter left the nest and returned in S rank adventurer episode 9 opens with a mystery child all alone. This is probably the demon king who we have seen talk to Angeline and that Angeline defeated this child who was this demon king but they're alive. Angeline is with Charlotte and Bayaku. Angeline asks what they are planning. This question is asked by a question if she is going to kill them. Angeline says she will if it is best. Charlotte asks Angeline not to kill Bakiku. They are here to return the money from people who bought talismans from them. They are going around to the people they tricked and hurt to make up for what they did. Angeline agrees to let them go. They get attacked. They are attacked by the Inquisition of the Usuranian Holy Court. Bakiku says these people lost their sense of self. They have to kill them if they want to win this fight. Angeline does in fact kill them. She takes Charlotte and Bayaku to her hotel to talk. Charlotte says the Inquisition of the Lucerinian court deal with heretics and those who defy them. Charlotte's father got caught up in a power struggle. He was accused as a heretic. This is why Charlotte was in a fire when she was younger that killed her family. Once Charlotte lost the ring and lost the fight against Belle, she has decided to change. Angeline has no idea how to act or even what to say. She decides to ask Charlotte why she looks beat up. Charlotte says when she returned money to one family, they got mad at her for lying and beat her up. Angeline says they both should stay in the hotel for tonight so Angeline can watch them. Angeline is not worried about them killing her in her sleep. Angeline asks Bayaku he can teleport, right? He replies he could, but it was a borrowed spell from the group he was a part of. They are no longer in that organization, meaning he cannot do the spell. So this group gave Bayaku and Charlotte powers. I feel like a group like that wouldn't allow Charlotte nor Bayaku to walk around by themselves and walk away from this organization. And these two haven't hidden who they are. Like Charlotte and Bayaku have no disguises. So I feel like that's a little weird. Like yes, they did get attacked, but at the same time it's like why did it take so long for them to get attacked? Like, I feel like this organization giving them powers and them not hiding themselves is very weird. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. If this is a powerful organization, they should go into hiding. The scene change to Mayurti fighting the evil child episode 9 opened with. She has been fighting all night. Belle and Duncan find them. They want to help her. Graham says no. This thing she is fighting isn't strong enough to kill her. Is it me, but doesn't this animation in this episode kind of suck. I think after nine episodes, we might be getting our plot and the characters in this plot. We are learning about who is evil and who is good. I feel like we're starting to develop ourselves. Mariotti won't die in this fight, though she cannot win. Belle steps in to fight, yet he doesn't actually fight. When he stands in front of the child, he turns around to leave. He says the child is just scared. They are not a threat. They all leave this cave and go back to Belle and Duncan's house. Graham tells us again how Mariotti causes trouble and she wants to be recognized. Being recognized is hard. Mariotti says they must have loved seeing her lose. Graham tells her to stop acting like a bratty child. No one will recognize her with her bad behavior. She doesn't like this and leaves. Belle goes after her. When he finds her, she says she doesn't want to talk. Belle tells her she is a very skilled with the blade. Belle tells her he taught his daughter how to fight. She is naturally skilled with a sword, just like Margareti. Margareti says she is only strong because Graham taught her. Belle says he used to be an adventurer until one day he got badly injured and had to stop. He understands her need for action. Belle says they should go back to eat. Back at the house, both Margarete and Graham tell each other sorry. In the morning, we see change to Angeline sleeping in her hotel bed that Charlotte snuck into. When Charlotte wakes up, she blames it on not properly sleeping in a bed for a long time. Once all three of them are awake and eaten, they go to the guild hall. They tell the guild master about the Inquisition. That is it. Nothing special. Angeline says she will protect Charlotte. We see change to see what Belle is up to. His town is having a party for something. Mariotti tells Belle she had fun at the party. Everyone was lively and not boring. She says elf parties are boring and this human party was fun. Again, another scene that is just here to be here. We jump to another morning to a scene change that talks about how the mana in the forest has changed causing the animals to act afraid. 
Maroti and Belle will go investigate the forest more. They find the child again. The child is asleep. I didn't say it earlier, but demon kings are not a typical demon king that is of one ruler over demons. In this anime, it seems like when they speak of demon king, it is a super, super strong monster almost. So like there could be multiple demon kings. That is what I'm getting from this episode nine. Demon king just refers to a monster that is really powerful and not one ruler. A rare dungeon monster arrives. The rare monster absorbs some of the child's mana. Belle takes the child outside of the cave to keep them out of harm's way. Belle and Margareti fight. The rare monster does disappear, but that was way too easy of a fight. There's no way they just beat this monster. Outside the cave, Belle got injured. Margareti asks how can she fight better. He tells her to stay focused. She needs to not lose her cool. This is advice that is good because one does need to stay focused on the battlefield. It is also bad advice because he just tells her to stay focused. The rare monster comes back. Graham arrives and fights. He defeats the rare monster, which was way too easy of a fight. Like, ridiculously way too easy for a rare monster. Back at the house, the Demon King child is with them. Belle will raise the child. Belle doesn't think the child is dangerous. And that is how episode 9 ends. This episode, it was mentioned for like two seconds between Angeline that she's like, oh, I wonder how my father would act in this situation. And then at the end, Belle does think about Angeline on, okay, I'm raising a child. How is my daughter, who has a father complex, going to think about this? But this episode, Angeline nor Belle, mainly Angeline, who does have that father complex, wasn't really thinking about her father that much. Or like, at all. I don't know if Angeline is growing up and not thinking about her father, and she's thinking about him less, or if this was forgotten as a character trait in this episode. With the Demon King child now living in Belle's village with Belle and Duncan, I do wonder if they are going to be good and just be like a scared demon child, or if it will be something where in this anime they're gonna go berserk and they will turn evil. But if they do, I feel like it's just going to be by accident and they're going to have to redeem this child. But episode 9, there were scenes that definitely helped with the plot and there were scenes that were there, I felt like, just to be there to take up airtime. YouTube, thank you for watching my video and listening to my video. You can comment below if you have dropped this anime, if you're still watching this anime. What do you think is the reason for Belle and this demon child now living together? Like, are they going to be good, evil? Go subscribe to my channel and go share this video.